Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at the Transformers Voyager class, I think, Cybertron Defense Force Scattershot. And so yeah, here he is. He is in his missile truck mode, and he's the, like, uh, Scattershot colors, not the G1 Scattershot, obviously, this Cyber uh, Transformers Cybertron colors, the gray, this, like, I don't know, mustard color, I don't know. And blue, and obviously some black, um, uh, in with it. So yeah, uh, if you don't know, the Cybertron defense team was uh, Scattershot, Red Alert, and Hotshot, and they became the Cybertron Defense Force because they um got basically killed, essentially, you know, near death. Uh, by Megatron, got a uh, rebirth into these dimf these better uh, robot uh, forms, and they like defended Cybertron against uh, like the scrap metals. Um, so yeah, that's how they got their name. That's how they became much different. Like comparing uh, this scattershot to the. To the scout ver the scout class version of it, significantly different. That's why, basically, got killed, reincarnated into this new body. So yeah, and I really, really love uh, the defense team. I love them. Uh, I've um, I have all of them, uh, and I'll do a review on them. But I my favorite is Scattershot. Uh, he does have a rifle, like, he does have a little, uh, like, a gun, like, a handheld gun that would go over these minicon ports, I mean, pegs, I don't have it right now, I did find it, uh, but I, once again, misplaced it, but, so, yeah, uh, and, so he's a missile truck, and, or I think you'd call it a missile truck, but, um, so, since these become his arms, the missiles, you basically get some, uh, quite a bit of the um, arm articulation due to the shoulders. So, shifts up and down, goes, you know, fairly close to a 90, just these pieces of his shoulder get in the way. And whenever you get pretty high up, you can see his head, and there's no way to mitigate that. Like, you can't turn his head around or anything, so that's a little unfortunate, but... Uh, it's okay, and I couldn't remember, because I didn't, uh, when I was younger and I had this, I didn't know about, uh, gold plastic syndrome, but when I finally pulled him out to do this review, I never thought of it, but these gold joints here, here, and in there, uh, I thought maybe he, uh, is one of the toys that breaks, so I was gonna be more careful, but then I got on the TF Wiki, he is not a toy that has a uh, gold plastic syndrome, so don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about breaking anything. Well, anything breaking, you know, still have to worry about breaking it. But uh, on its own, don't have to worry about breaking it. Um, due to some, this, like, big, you can see how it's in that, like, gold brown uh, plastic, how it's a big turntable. Um, how the... It trans... It... It's similar to the Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron, uh, how his arms become it, and this can do a full 360, it is ratcheted, so yeah. And I think that's pretty much it for the alt mode, not too much to talk about, what you see is what you get, so yeah. Let's get down to the transformation, and I'll get into the uh, Cyber Key gimmick uh, in the robot mode. So, first, I like to flip down these... These will become his feet, flip these back, flip these up, and then you'll come to these tracks, this whole track segment, spin it down, and then you'll spin it around with that ball joint, and then there's this little hole that's going to go over that peg, and the reason why I like to flip the feet forward is because I think this slot, this tab that goes into this slot, I think it gets in the way if you, yeah, see, like, if you go over, like, you can't connect it on, like, you can't peg that on, like, flip that one around so I can show you what I'm talking about. Undo that, spin this around, and it doesn't have the clearance, so you have to flip this piece forward. I think you can do it with this, 
let's see. Yeah, you can, doesn't hinder anything right there, any of the clearance, uh, raise this up a little bit. So yeah, you're gonna have to flip those forward. Just gonna stand them up, and these obviously are his heel spurs. Wait, did I do something wrong? Probably just his backpack. And then right here, you're just gonna split these. Just two big pegs, two big holes, and I'll swing them out. I like to bring them out and then uh, fold the fists out and now I can spin them around or 180, 90, whatever, flip his head out. And this is a double hinge. And then you're gonna put this peg, or at least I think put this like peg into this groove. And you can see that turntable in there, all in there. And unlike the Combiner Wars Megatron where his shoulders end up like right, like lower than where they should, so his, his arm movement is weird, his isn't. It is just nice and good. Just split the legs. There you go. So now we're gonna lower this a little bit, scoot him back, bring this back up there. So yeah. Um, there is Cybertron Defense Scattershot. And I really like this guy. I have loved this toy forever and ever. Um, one of my favorite toys of all time, you know. Um, just, there are a couple of things that I find fault with, and it's mainly the legs and the arms. The, arm, the shoulders and the hips, to be specific. Um is that either your go either your it's the Cybertron I call it the Cybertron stance or you know the Cybertron effect straight A like no in between like you know a lot of toys had them because of their th big big tooth ratchets you can see how big the teeth are and that hinders the the possibility of them not like bad like uh, like to where you can't put them in a pose, but you can't have them in a dynamic looking pose, like just straight pose because those teeth are so big. You can't have a in between a stance. You're either straight, like straight up a, or you're really, or you're just straight, you know? Um, and I, I'm not a fan of that. Just, they could have made the teeth in there a little bit thinner, like, finer and then would have completely mitigated that like just adding one more tooth on the shoulders they would have had his legs be in more naturally i can't make him but that's what i would have done and it's not just on this guy it's on quick mix i think quick mix in his work mode it's on metroplex and i think a lot of other guys just those are the two that i can think of right now so yeah it's kind of unfortunate that he he just can't get him in a very good stance. But overall, he has good articulation. His head uh, is sculpted to where it can only go that far. But arms, you know, can go out that far. Has a swivel, which that's another thing, is that his shoulders get in the way of that. And then they come off a lot. These come off a lot. Um, he has an elbow. Obviously ratcheted. Uh... Ratchet of hips, uh, and no thigh swivel, it looks like. Looks like there should, but it's just a below the knee swivel. Ratcheted knee. So yeah, he has quite a bit of articulation, but just those hips and shoulders be not being very friendly to a, just a natural stance. Um, so yeah, I... You know, that's like my biggest fumble with this guy. I love his face. You know, his... The sculpting of the original uh, Scout class and the character model is iconic. And then they just made it even more iconic. He went from just some, like, computer nerd then with his original Scout uh, head mold to, like, this head mold, which he looks now like a SWAT, like... Like a, I don't know, some like high tech SWAT guy or something. I don't know, um, but yeah, I love the, I love the redesign. How it still feels natural, like it still pertains to his like geeky, uh, computer, um, computer, uh, I don't know, background, but still makes him more uh, warrior esque. Like he's more of a soldier now 
than ever, you know. So uh, we'll get into the uh, cyber key gimmicks, and I don't. I just have this cyber key. I think it's to uh, the Red Alert, the original version of the Red Alert, not the Cybertron Defense version. So I'm gonna raise this up. Uh, I don't have. I didn't come. I didn't get this guy with his uh, original cyber key. So uh, obviously the two ports. This one. Why am I stressed? So now I'm going to move my fingers out of the way. And in this one, you're going to want to, you could leave it like this if you want it like that, but you're supposed to shift it forward. You can see that big slider in there and it's kind of stiff, but, and that's a faux handle. And he has, uh, you know, just a big one barreled gun on that side. And that means you get his uh, elbow articulation with this one then this one i'm gonna put the cyber key in this one and this one doesn't slide at all so you're just gonna have his straight shoulder and then you can fold that out a bit more then you'll slide that out and you have uh, a missile launcher i vote these are finicky on mine i don't know about uh other version, like, uh, other copies of the, of this scattershot or other versions of the mold. Like, I know they did one for, like, drop, sh I know his name was drop shot. I think they did another one, but I don't know. But on mine, they're just, just pulled it right out. But, yeah, this is his cyber key power, his, like, gimmick, his cyber key gimmick. And I always thought it was weird that, uh, you know, the missiles are supposed to be this long. Like, as long as this whole pod, you know, like the thing that's on his shoulder. But, you know, you lose all these missiles whenever he you flip out his guns. But I was like, you know, maybe the missiles are just this short. I don't know. But, so, just, it's so wicked. Just having a big spring-loaded gun, a big one-barreled gun, plus some missiles. Just absolute beast and you know you can do that uh you can uh give him these weapons his cyber key weapons in his uh vehicle mode and it looks really cool like that so yeah uh yeah i really like the functionality you could say of his uh gimmicks like they don't intrude very much so yeah just gonna put them away So yeah, you know, if you want to, you could leave that like that, but so yeah, do whatever you want. I just like to have him like that. Well, not like this. I just wish he had a bit better of a regular stance, but stuck with this. But overall, I, I love this toy. I love all the Cybertron defense team. Um, I love the original vert. I love this guy. Uh, I love the Scout version of Scattershot. Uh, I love his character. I love everything about this toy. And it was reused, so if you just want the mold, like you have no affinity of this Scattershot, um, you can get Scattershot, this version, this toy, and um, um, the Drop Shot. I think that was uh, from Universe 2.0. And I want to say there was one other mold, like. I can't remember what it was, but overall, yeah, I love the mold. Uh, just wish if they fix the hips and shoulders, and that's not just for him, but for a lot of the toys in from the Cybertron toy line. If those uh, didn't exist, then they would be the best toys probably ever, you know? So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, till next time, see ya.